Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jolie, and today's reading is from A Little Time for Myself, the Alan on book, and um, it is March 31st. So it's uh, when I'm recording this, it's 2024, and today is um, Easter celebration for those who celebrate it. And so um, I know Easter, the that time of year always changes, right? Depending on um, when it falls. It's interesting how some holidays are different dates. That Lilac is going to join us here. Maybe she'll show up over here and pop her head over. But let's go ahead and say the serenity prayer to start. Take a nice deep breath in and out. I'm grateful that you're here with me. God, grant us the serenity to accept things that we can't change, to have courage to change things we can, and wisdom to know the difference. Maybe both cats are up there. I think they're trying to get me. To go to bed. I'm still um, feeling it from the tooth pulling that I had. It's not as swollen, but it's still, I have to take ibuprofen and Tylenol every once in a while because it's like, whew, it's pretty, pretty bad feeling, but it's almost over. All right, and here's my hot chocolate. feels like settle down. How are you guys doing? Okay. All right, let's see what the reading has. And yes, I'm freezing. It's raining all day. It's chilly. And when, you know, I think my immune system is, is being tempered as well because of the the tooth thingy so anyway all right here we go page 91 if you're following along says i am new to al-anon so welcome if you are new and when i practice detachment i write down things i used to say to the alcoholic and addict then discard them one night, I was worrying about an upcoming trip. What should I do for my alcoholic addict loved one before leaving? Fear of their financial collapse hit me. Before I went to sleep, I wrote yet another warning, but the right words never came. The next day, I felt nausea building from the fear, so I read my daily reader. This helps me as well. So I realized I wasn't living in the presence. I had to let go and let God. It's one of the slogans. So I quickly wrote my fear down and put it into a little box that I found. Okay, oh, Annie. I would let it go for now. Mir miracul miraculously, the solution came to me later that day. Sorry for destroying that word. My higher power helped me resolve the issue and move on. So, before I go on, this reminds me of when um, I couldn't get a certain person out of my head. And this is when I first came in into Al-Anon. It was just really troubling because I was just like grinding and worrying and um, the alcoholic addict partner that I had. And when I was going to meetings, um, I was invited to go to 
the AA meeting that was open. And I'm like, why not? Because then maybe there's going to be additional information. And I'm going to be able to empathize and somehow have compassion because I'm so angry. And I didn't know what to do. You know, like, why me? You know, like, you know, how can I, how has my life gone this way? And I thought, well, okay, I'll go to this meeting and nothing else to do. I mean, I did like take care of my kids, take care of myself, but I didn't know how to at that time. I was so torn mentally. So I was like, how do I get this person out of my head? Cause I'm so angry all the time. And they told me to pray for them. And I was like, I don't want to add you know, I was like, you know, maybe you didn't hear what I said. You know, I was like, still, let me talk to your manager uh, mentality. <laughs> so it's embarrassing because I get that all the time. And now I, I have compassion for people who are like my, who have been like myself and frustrated and angry and, you know, not knowing, you know, what to do and how to do it. Like, I have so much control over my life, but I have no control, like the reality of that. And um, so when this woman told me to pray for, for him, and I thought, you know, like, I don't want to add him more into my life. I want to take him out of my thoughts because I can't take care of myself or my kids and I can't like get him out of my head because I'm so mad. Yet I know like I can't do anything about it. So there's that crossroads. And at that crossroads, she told me to do that. And I and I realized I looked around, I'm like, right, there's a lot of happiness here. There's a lot of maturity and there's something here that I want. So I'm gonna listen. So I'm like, well, tell me how to do it and what to say and how long I have to do this for. And she said, do it for two weeks every day in the morning and at night. And I said, what do I say? And she said, just pray to God for God's will for them. And if you want to name them specifically, do that. And that's it. Don't pray for specific things. Just pray for God's will and then leave it there. So I said, okay. So I tried it the first night. I was like, okay, blah, blah, blah. Here we go. You know, I even had like that shaking, like, la, 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 like, okay, here we go. I'm going to pray for him. So I'm like, I pray for God's will for my partner. And I'm like, okay. But, I, you know, along with my other prayers that I'm supposed to do, like the serenity prayer and the third step prayer. Those are the two prayers that I say in the morning and at night on my knees, I was told to do take a different action. Don't just like pray in your head. Don't lay in your bed and do it. Don't just have like a specific stance. So on my knees. And so I did it in the morning and I did it at night. And, you know, the first week I was kind of like, okay, here we go again. There it is. God, take him. Do your will. And um, because I used to, to pray for specific things, like I pray that he stops drinking and realizing that he's, he's okay and we can do this. And blah, 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 you know, I used to do that and, you know, I would just get frustrated, right? So the, the fact that I would detach my will for what I wanted specifically and gave it to, you know, I'm doing the work, going to the meetings, reading the material, talking to the sponsors, talking to the people, listening to the suggestions of others who have gone through this as well. So I'm like, okay, that makes sense. And I'm going to do that. And so I did. And um, there was a moment out of one of those days, I don't know which one it was, that I was like, oh my God, thank you. 
I just realized that this is the only time I'm actually fussing over it, like thinking about it specifically, where throughout the day, I would just go through the waves and like, oh, da, da, da. why is this happening to me? Where all I did is I brought it to the prayer moment, gave it to God, prayer moment, gave it to God. And um, there was a moment, I don't know when, like I said, it happened where I was like, oh my gosh, this is where I'm leaving it. And I am doing that. So I do that now all the time when there's someone or something that is bothering me. So I'm going to practice that tonight. Because there's some things that are out of my control, absolutely outside of me, that I'm going to pray about and leave them there. I'm just going to pray for God's will. That's what I'm going to do. All right. Because it works if you work it. All right. So today's reminder, and thanks for bearing with me. Um, I don't know if you can relate to any of that or... If you have a story about letting go and letting God, you know, okay, I'm going to hear because it. it'll help other people too. So today's reminder, today I will focus on the present instead of living in the future that isn't here yet. <laughs> things are going on in in my life that I don't know like I could jump off the boat or I can stay on the boat and be present because the fact is I do have a job today so I'm gonna stay here and do that and instead of living in the future that isn't here yet because I'm adding to the problems by doing that because I can't control the future. I can only control where I am today and my attitudes of gratitude and being okay with that, not worry that I'm going to miss something. Anyhow, so here we go. Um, there's a quote from Alateen Hope for Children of Alcoholics, and it says, worrying about the future and regretting the past do only one thing, spoil today. Yeah. That helps me a lot. Helps me a lot. I'm really grateful for that. All right, so then the question of the day is what can I do to keep my focus on this present moment only? Tapping, praying, talking to you, sharing. You know, just reading this. It's a good reminder. It's like kind of like sets my butt down right here in the present moment. That's where I'm at. Hello. Drink my cup of hot chocolate with the magnesium because I'm taking care of myself because I've had that intention. And yeah, pay attention to what I need. I need to sleep. So I'm going to do so. Terrible. I need to, I was thinking about I want to get them done again, but. takes like commitment <laughs> so I just keep them short I don't know what do you guys think about nails getting nails done I love when I see people like I there was this there's this some um, song called nails and they hear the clicking of the nails but it would be nice to have them done it would be like something I can do for myself by going to get my nails done but I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. 
right. Mm -hmm. I love you. And I will see you, God willing, tomorrow with another reading. So let me know in the comments what comes up for you. And um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. All right. Share this content with somebody who may benefit. All right. And um, love you. And um, oh, the story about my partner and the, the praying and I pray we're friends now. We don't talk that often, but because there's boundaries, right? But um, I finally have been able to like shed the, the, um, like that sadness and the anger. It's still kind of like, there's like the memories of all that, but the light is there where I have compassion and understanding and, um, and yeah, maybe not for the prior one, <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. You know, sometimes things just run its course. And um, yeah, lessons are learned and we move on. So be present and I love you. All right. Mm -hmm. okay. Bye, you guys. <laughs>